Level up or game over. Hello everyone, I'm Tessa, Director of Marketing at Idea Pros, and today I have a special guest. I'm actually gonna bring in Miss Kai Alde, and this is a special day for me when I can bring Kai into uh, our Idea Pros show. She is a Momentum coach at Momentum Studio, and I get to work with her on a regular basis. She's my coach. She's my uh, my mentor and someone who I have masterminds with. And I wanted to share her with you guys because all of you out there who are watching our live are creating products and apps and businesses. And the fact is that if we don't, if we're not leveling up and getting um, actively pursuing business, then we are going, it's going to be game over. The business won't exist anymore. So Kai has, we have three things that we want to cover with you guys. But before I do that, I just want to say hi to you all in the comments and let you know, um, hashtag live. And then also, uh, if you are a fan of games, like <laughs> video games, I'm a total addict. You guys probably don't know this. Superheroes, video games, like I have to cut myself off. So if you are a fan of video games, let me know in the chat. I'm going to use a lot of video game references. Kai and I are great at puns. Um, but we're going to dive into how you can level up in your business. Even if you're doing, if you're working through the process of getting your product or app live, and it's a long process, you can be working on these things throughout your whole journey. So <laughs> Kai, first of all, what is it that we, what one first thing that we can do to level up in our business? The first thing, and I'm going to apologize ahead of time for my voice, but the first thing that we can do is define success. And I don't necessarily mean success in just your business. I mean, success overall. Yes. And I think that that's something that it's really easy for us to talk about success and be like, well, success for me is a nice house and being able to pay my bills. And But in reality, what does success look like? And what does it look like six months from now, nine months from now? You know, I mean, getting really granular about what success looks like is actually the key to building your own strategy and creating success. The more defined your success, not that we can create success for you, not that, exactly. but the more you can <laughs> define success, the easier it will be to determine what path you need to go on and mm -hmm. how to get there and how, what leveling up looks like. So. I I think it has to align. And I think Kai got my bronchitis. You guys all heard me before. No, just kidding. <laughs> she's, she's in the same boat I was before. So I, when you're defining your success, and you mentioned this, Kai, we, um, even idea pros, mm -hmm. like we say a lot of the time, hey, you are going to create your own success. We can build a product or we can build an app, but you have, to, you own it. So for all of you guys, when you're thinking about success, um, if, if your end goal is not defined, how can any of your middle steps get you to the end, right? If we're looking at, hey, this is a game you can win, you're going to have to check off certain things. You know, if you're saving the princess in the game, you got to, you know, know where she is. I mean, if you don't yeah. know that, you're not going to be able to get to the end. So making sure that you define your success and and maybe it's something that's a moving target that's okay because things are going to change your but your business is going to yeah. pivot but get clear on that write down those goals when partners start with us we always ask you know what's your goal of working with idea pros specifically because there is something in your head and i know we do that kai with our our uh projects too like what is it we're trying to achieve here <laughs> I'm Poor so sorry, guy. you guys. Um, guy. No, but that's exactly true. I love the picture that you paint of, you know, that end game. Like, I never got there. I've never won a game. I did like, once. any video game. <laughs> never. Once. But every time I see it, right, it's that end. Like, when people win, it's like they get to the end. And then there's that end scene. And that's really what we need to define is what does that end scene look like for us? And not just that end scene in 20 years, but what does that end scene look like in six months, right? And I think that's where people really kind of miss the, the game over, right? Like it, it isn't about just leveling up to level up, but 
what am I actually trying to accomplish and how do I need to level up to get there? That's really right. what leveling up is about. It's understanding that just because you've arrived, you know, like, what does that really mean? Because right, a lot of people don't define about, it. Yeah. And if your product's done, let's say we're just going to picture a product mm -hmm. right now, but think of it as a, an app too. Let's say your, your product's done. You've got it manufactured. I mean, like, what is what are you going to do with this product? It's not just like yeah. it's done. Now it's going to be, how am I going to market it? Where do I want to see it? Which places, Raw Beauty Co. I know is on the chat with us right now. And she has, it's going into, you know, store locations, like is her mm -hmm. vision and she's got amazing plans for the brand, but like she's clear on where she wants that product to go yeah. and how it's going to be a high-end brand. And yes, so definitely check out rawbeautyco.com. But you can tell, you can tell that she's got, she knows her, she levels mm -hmm. up consistently on each one of the times that we're, you know, launching the product line mm -hmm. or getting um, new packaging. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. Awesome. Okay. So number two, that's number one. We've got number two and that is never stop learning, right? <laughs> yeah. Never stop learning. But what does that mean? Huh? <laughs> well, for me, look, yeah, no, do tell. <laughs> well, no, for me learning, I mean, every time I hit something new, I, I just talked to one of the partners the other day, social media isn't something that's their forte. And they are literally going through training courses to figure out this new thing. Um, but it's on a path in the right direction towards that end goal. So she knows that it's something she needs to be doing. And and it's the right time to be doing it. So sometimes when you're trying to learn something, you're learning it in way early in the phase and you don't need to be addressing it. Plus not all of your questions are answered. If, if you don't have your brand, it's really hard to do anything for social media if you haven't picked your name and your brand. So knowing when <laughs> to learn these things is almost as important as always learning. <laughs> yes. And I think one of the things that people get tripped up on, this is what I see all the time, is that we learn and I am a student, just I'm a teacher at heart, but I am always a student, right? And I can just consume, consume, consume. I want to listen to a podcast. I want to get a new book. I want to all of the things, right? And that's a lot of the problems that I see in the beginning is that people, I love the fact that they embrace the whole, you know, never stop learning, but they're not very strategic about what they're learning. And like you said, you've got to know like what stage are you in because that's what you need to learn. Because what happens is you learn so many things that you don't know what to apply. And this happens to everybody. It's like, I don't have enough time in the day to get anything done. I'm overwhelmed, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, because you're trying to do everything, but not everything matters right now. Right. Right. Like now if I am still waiting for yeah. <laughs> and if I'm still waiting for my product, I don't probably need to start thinking about how I'm gonna market to whatever. That's yeah, that's coming up, but that's not where I'm at right now. Right. Right. So yeah, knowing and what you need to learn and then focusing in on that is so key. Absolutely. And with, you know, we have courses coming up from Fred soon that are a purpose-driven entrepreneur course that people would be able to take. Those, The idea, though, is that you're um, laying the foundation, making a strong foundation. And then when it comes time, like where Sean is right now with his business, we're getting really close to launching his app. So he can be researching how, you know, social media video editing tools and things like that. When in doubt, this is my favorite because obviously learning, uh, never stop learning could be podcasts, videos, courses. I mean, you can get mm -hmm. lost in the sea of the internet anyway, and be led astray. I remember Kai one time, she was going to create a bot. And it was like, somehow you got sucked into yeah. like bot world <laughs> and creating yeah. a bot. And we really didn't need it. We were just going to run a quiz. And then Kai's like, well, six hours later, I know how to run No, it was 10 hours. 10 <laughs> hours later. And we're like, wait, no. And do we have a bot up? No, no. <laughs> because we didn't need it at the time. So yeah. this, the next one that we're going to talk about right now actually does help a lot. And I probably should have switched the order. But expanding your perspective, sometimes you need a coach. I need Kai 
I, I need coaches for me. I need Fred to, to, you know, coach me on where I'm supposed to be going. And it's sometimes in, um, true one-on-one coaching environment, but sometimes it's in a mastermind, which Kai and I are also in. Um, Sometimes it's just in, you know, having a conversation over coffee or virtual coffee and saying, hey, I just, I need somebody else's perspective to see if I need to do this at all. And, and doing it and actually implementing it and saying, okay, I've got all this good advice. Now what do I do? Right. So I think being coachable and having being willing to expand your perspective, being willing to listen to other people is so important and has helped Mm -hmm. me to not go down the wrong path so many times. Yeah, I agree 100 percent. I mean, when you really think about expanding your perspective, you just don't know what you don't know. I'm sure you've all heard this. It's like, oh, okay, I've heard it before a thousand times. I get it. But it's so true in the sense that if I don't look to other people, I don't ask other people for their help, for their perspective, for what they can see from the outside looking in, then all that I see is like, I want you to imagine. Oh, I love this analogy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know which one you're thinking of. (laughs) I want you to imagine that you're in a box, right? And your whole world is this box. And until you can ask somebody else, hey, what is it that you see? Or what is it that like, where do I need to go? Or where can I, what's outside? You don't have no idea. You're literally in this box. And until somebody is like, opens the lid for you, you can't see what's outside of that, that box, right? And that's just what it is. You didn't even know to open the box because that is just where you live. And so it's one of those things that when we go and we're even just having a coffee chat with somebody else who's in the same boat or somebody else who's five steps ahead of you or even one step ahead of you can really open up your world so much and let that light in and really help you to see, oh, wow, there is more to life than this box. And it also helps with, you know, the normal entrepreneurial thing where we kind of get uh, we're by ourselves a lot. Oh, and yeah, when lonely. you're by yourself a lot, you're creating your own ideas of what reality is and what you need to do. And, and then you're making more work for yourself that doesn't need to be there. So always surround yourself with other people, reach out to other people, but also be that person for others as well, right? Help I them think- to get perspective in a really respectful way. Oh, I love but- it. I love it. Donna actually said the same thing. It's always good to consult others. Um, and to be the consulting help in what you're doing is really mm-hmm. important too. So you can offer help to other people that are, are going through the process as well. And, and, you know, you don't have to take everybody's advice. I hear that a lot too. Like, you know, it's, I get too many different opinions and everyone, I feel obligated to take someone's advice. And mm-hmm. the fact is that you're going to take away from it, whatever part of that, that somebody else e- you know, maybe you decide to take action on it. Maybe you don't, but at yeah. least you're opening your mind to that and making sure that you don't like live in that box for all by yourself and feel lonely. We also call it like the entrepreneurial island. So you feel like you're all alone on an island and you're trying to deal with all your own problems. So definitely look at that. Reaching out to, oh yeah, so Stephanie, I know you've talked to other partners and Jared is amazing. Jared Wook is one of our team. Um, He's a partner of ours, but he's amazing at explaining like what things, how things work um, in the Idea Pros journey too. Uh, And Stephanie, Yes, it helps to just get like be able to talk with people and know that you guys are on the same journey together. So Mm -hmm. that's why we love Facebook and (laughs) being able to do these lives. So I'm going to go back and look through our. um, Oh, hey, Leticia. She says hi to Kai and I. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to go back through the comments. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Uh, We -hmm. also do have some of our favorite learning resources. So I know I work. I there's quite a few uh, master classes, one that I've been a part of. I mean, there's tons of social media courses, all of which we um, we do list in our uh, 
learning areas. And we have a resource page coming for Idea Pros, and it literally is going to have some of our favorite videos about the whole process from start to finish. So you guys can check that out. Uh, you can go to Idea Pros blog and get on our mailing list, and we'll keep you posted over there too. But thank you so much, Kai. I know this is um, all information that we work through all the time, but I wanted to make sure we shared this with our partners. So if you guys got any nuggets from today, please let us know in the chat, hashtag nugget, and let us know what you are walking away with. We hope that you have lots of gems um, and maybe you have your favorite book or podcast. Let us know that in the chat too, so we can share with others. Do you have a favorite, Kai? Do you watch any or listen to any podcasts? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am a podcast junkie, so I actually have to pull back. That's my problem. It's so I have the same problem that my clients have, which is <laughs> always wanting to know more, no more, no more. Um, and that's my issue. So I actually had to like detox. <laughs> oh, she had to reduce like, down podcasts. I had to stop <laughs> listening to podcasts because I get so sucked in. Um, but right now, one of the, I'd say I'm doing audiobooks. And actually, mm, I, I went through the podcast and the audiobooks, and now I'm back to regular books. Because for me, what was the problem was that I'd be listening and I couldn't take notes anywhere, or I'd be taking notes on 5,000 different. So now I just buy the books um, as somewhere back there. And then I have to like write in it so that I can then talk to Tessa and be like, hey, did you read this? Did you? So I don't know if I have a favorite book. I'd say it always depends on what we're talking about. For me, when I was studying marketing, it was um, the Donald by Donald Miller, the story. Oh, story brand. Building, yes, building a story yes. brand. I love that book. And right now, because I do a lot of neuroscience in my coaching business, it's um, the Persuasion Code. So those are two oh. great ones. Fascinating. No, I, I have so many podcasts, but I tend to do you. Well, right now, a lot of TikTok. It's like short. I follow people who yeah. have. I My favorite thing right now is decluttering. It's oh, seriously. Marie I mean, doing it up. It, it is. And it's like, hey, do this. And here's your quick little tab, you know, tip. And so it doesn't matter where the source is. But once you find something that's working, you know, stick with it for longer than just one day. Like, don't yeah. give up after chapter yeah. one. Keep going on the learning. Keep going on. You have to finish mm -hmm. <laughs> like the game over. I Like I said, I only won one video game, maybe two, two in my whole entire life. So seeing that end scene was like the biggest thrill of my life. Well, we want you guys to have that end scene mm -hmm. for your business. So be consistent, get the right people around you and always be learning or never stop learning, I should say. But yes. thank you. Thank you, Kai. I'm going to let you go. And then You're I'll so chat thank with you. these guys. We'll see you again soon for other Bye. things. I mean, Kai's got lots of business advice. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So I'm just going to take a second and say hi to you all. Um, hey, Jason. Jason is with renegadecore.com. Love it. Very nice to see you, Vance. Scott, Abel, Stephanie, I know we said this, and um, I am excited about the weekend. I don't know how excited you guys are, but I'm ready. And Ben, it's been a while. I haven't seen you in forever. Good to have you here. Bongo, who's getting their website all ready to launch. Kelly, Martin, and Aziza, of course, I showed her website. And um, and my goal, hey, Joe, good to see you. And Ken over at Crashpad Products. Happy Friday, Crashpad products. This is an amazing product for backing up. I finally have an SUV. So can we have to get it on my car? <laughs> so, and we have trailers too. So we'll get some good videos. Robert, good to see you live from Maryland. Maryland, I should say. And Anthony Dean, nice to have you here. I know we've had... Um, uh, oh, we mentioned... I know we had a chance to mention Der Jared. Jared is with... Uh, Reese. Recite. Did I? No, not recite. Why am I blanking? Jared, let me know. Why am I blanking on your name? Anyway, Jen Hall, good to see you. Guys, we're here every Friday at noon Pacific time. If there's a topic that you want us to cover, please let us know in the chat so that we can make sure we're covering that. We have really good topics coming up. Um, I know that the early stage parts of building a business like market research and uh, customer surveys. These are all things that come into 
into play throughout your journey as a, as an entrepreneur. So if something in that sounds interesting to you and Mr. Fred Carey over there on his vacate ritual. Thank you, Fred. I appreciate it. And we miss you. I really, I hope you're having a good time off though. So I was really, really insistent on giving Fred that chance to not have to be here and not have to think about it. So hopefully it was, uh, hopefully it met your expectations, Fred. And if you have any books, Fred is also an avid learner, always, always, always. So Fred, if you have some favorites that you think we should read for books, eBooks, podcasts, whatever, put it in the chat so we can share it with everyone. And we'll be back next week. Um, and noon, Fridays, mark your calendar, come see us live and let us know what we can be doing to help you guys hit the bell to get reminders. Uh, or you can click the link in our post and get notifications by text. We'll see you guys on next week. Have a blessed week. Bye. Oh, it's raining. That's why Fred's joining us. If it was sunny, he'd be at the beach. <laughs> Bye, everyone.